Hey guys, Trumpet here, and I welcome you to, to Let's Hack FE7 some. So yeah, I've been thinking of making an FE7 Maniac mode. And well, I guess I've got to do it. I'm just going to be making small changes first, like raising the enemy's levels by two. Oh, enemy auto level, that would be... Wait, hold on. Enemy. Alright then, remember to save often. An auto level is a pretty dang cool feature, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I'll be raising the enemy's levels. Auto level once again, we'll auto level once again. Oh, okay, then time to auto level once again. And so, yeah, this is how to make a simple ish ROM hack. Like, and by simple ish, I mean this is, is going to turn out to be very, very hard. Anyway, oh yeah, I forgot there's one more thing I should do. Just because I'm a jerk, let's give Zugu a hand axe and give, let's give everyone hand axes. You know what? Zugu doesn't need the uh, friggin' iron axe. He needs the steel axe. It's because that makes him more awesome. Because, well, Everyone here is going to have in is going to have hand axes. Welcome to maniac mode, guys. This is what happens when I when my hacking goes too far. Er, this is how I make FE7 maniac mode. As you guys know, I can make some hellish stuff. And, well, it's time for, for this to be no exception to that rule. Anyway, I think I'm going to load the class and character editors. I'm going to load the character editor, and, well, you see, this, uh, this guy, Zugu, he is going to have all, he's going to have stupid amounts of stats. Aha, there he is. You know, what, let's make that negative one a double it and double it. You see, this is why a hacking FE seven could be. Pretty dang crazy at times. You know, let's open up FE7 Maniac Mode, beat the tutorial. Oh, and let me show you what insanity this can result in. Okay, so yeah, 
in case you haven't seen me play FE7 before, I'm going to go with the default simply because, and the tutorial's completely unchanged, by the way. Okay, so, oh yeah, I should probably add the tutorial killer patch. Hold on, you guys. Is basically how you add the tutorial killer patch. I'll do. That. All right, patching is done. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, now it's time to reopen FE7 Maniac mode. Mode and. Well, let's restart the chapter, and we're ready to go. So yeah, uh, be warned, there might be save states, because, well, this is maniac mode, guys. This is maniac mode. See, died already. That's just great. It didn't even get to the maniac part. I didn't edit the tutorial because, well, that would be the hardest part to edit. Hold on, I am going to move my face cam up here. Alright guys, is the view better? You don't need to respond because you kind of can't respond. I'm recording this in the past. Again, it's a... Anyway. So yeah, guys. Save state. Now, let's take care of this chapter like a normal person. Da, 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 da. Yeah! Anyway, so yeah. Tutorial's completely unchanged. In, in, I don't think I can... I don't think I'll be able to fit chapter one of my <laughs> hack into the video. Oh, but just be warned, it will be maniacal. Save state. Wait. Da 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 Anyway, so yeah, there will still be three thirteen, maybe. Anyway, don't think I'll actually have time to do chapter one this time, so I'll be seeing you next time on some FE7 hacking.